Well, being an arable farmer, we're always looking at our rotation and what crops we're putting in it. Um, we're looking at the costs of growing it and the margins that that crop, crop is bringing back. Rape for us and wheat have been the key ones. Um, rape fits in well with the wheat rotation and having wheat and spring barley. We need the rotation away from cereal. So it's key for us to keep the rape crop into our rotation and to maximise the profit on the farm. For us, the, the, the most important thing is getting the crop started and getting it growing well. So we have historically planted it late, second week of September. Um, that has been based around us trying to kill black grass and get black grass flush before the rape goes in. More latterly, that's been advantageous with the flea beetle. We find that we're missing the migration of the flea beetle. By the time the rapes come out of the ground in mid-September, the migration is nearly over. So we've had little damage from it. The other key to it is keeping it growing. So we don't want it. We've had issues where we've put it in the ground earlier and then it's dried out. So in September, it's more likely to get the moisture and get the rain and it will keep, keep growing. We don't want the rape to stop once it grows. So as well as that, we'll throw on uh, uh, a startup fertilizer, nitrogen, to get it going. And that will really kick it off into winter. Uh, providing we can get it into winter as a good crop, it won't be as tall as earlier drilled rape, but then the problems we get there with the pigeons, well, we can see them and they're easier to control. So as long as we get it started well through September into October and growing well, that's the most important stages for us. Um, not really. We will stick with drilling it late. So we second week of September, we'll go in to drill it or look at drilling it. We'll evaluate the weather at that time. Sometimes if it's looking like we need to go a bit earlier, possibly a little bit later, depending on rain and moisture, then we'll just address that at the start of September. Uh, again, we will make sure we get the startup fertilizer on just to give it the boost. But um, providing we get it drilled well at that time, I can't see any differences. I mean, it's been very successful for us over the years uh, in establishment and going through into yield at the end of the year. So I think we'll carry on going as we have done.